I fully believe that the greatest temptation that we navigate is this idea, this belief that God has abandoned us, that God will not reach out to us when we reach out to him, that God is not there, mm -hmm. that, that we're speaking into the void, that there's nothing but silence on the other side, that there is going to be something that, that trumps or contradicts what Paul writes in Romans 8 about the extent and the depth and the breadth of God's love, like something. And I think that Jesus in that moment, I think he had to navigate the human experience of believing that we are separated from God. Now he moved through that moment as we must move through that moment because there's something on the other side. But Jesus dignified in that moment. He dignified the cry of my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And for those of you out there listening to this and you're like, man, I feel like I'm in a season where God has forsaken me, but I've been scared to articulate that. I've been scared to express my doubts. I've been expressed. I've been scared to complain because I've heard complaining is bad. Well, first of all, I want to tell you, it's bad to complain about God. It's not bad to complain to God. The Psalms give us plenty of permission and precedent for complaining to God. God can handle your complaints. He He's big enough for them. And he, he has a way of reframing them um, and revealing so much about who we are and our struggle and what we don't know. Um, but God's not afraid of your doubts. He's not afraid of that cry. And I have found like when we get to that point where we cry that out, like that's where we really start, start exchanging empty words and routine and religion for a relationship that is robust enough, that is meaningful enough for, for the life that we're called to live in this crazy, distracting world that is so confused and so disoriented. And we're called to be people who embody peace and joy and gentleness and courage and boldness and all of these qualities that come with being the people of God. And I believe that can only happen as we as we first have words with God. Going back to